Dr. Disrespect has returned to the internet after several months of being sort of, uh, you know, in exile, uh, which is a good thing because he was caught inappropriately sexually texting and looking to meet up at TwitchCon with, like, a young fan. And so, anyway, uh, he's been, like, teasing, I'm going to come back and we're going to, you know, things are going to happen and I'm going to do a stream. And here he did a trailer and... <laughs> I want to I want to play this trailer with like he was getting roasted of course um and, but he's just so mad look at this look at this trailer for his return to streaming after being outed as a as a PDF He's in his real fast boat going fucking rocketing towards Epstein Island everyone made the same joke Literally how how are you going <laughs> to You can't you can't go to Epstein Island in your fucking return trailer, man. How did you not see the joke coming? You didn't even for a second think, oh, yeah. Anyway, this is cringe shit. Like, I know it's part of his character, but it's like, it's just so cringe. Anyway, it goes on for a while. Look at him. There he is. He's in the, he's in the boat. It's not a real boat, of course. This is made with AI or something. <laughs> It looks scuffed in the wrong way. He's he's pretending he's pretending to go in his boat real fast to <laughs> to Epstein Island. Luckily, in the trailer, uh, the island is completely devoid of any other human being than Doctor disrespecting the age of consent. No, I'm sorry. He has a guy. Never mind. Hold on. There's like a you know the Star Wars guys that when the when the ship comes in, they sort of, they, they go. Doo, 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 doo. Uh, he's got one of those guys. We're pulling up. Cool. There's nobody here. It looks sort of like Kim Jong-il is uh, <laughs> arriving, I guess, to his, <laughs> his secret uh, island where he, his groomer island. Champions Club. Champions Club, and it's him walking at TwitchCon. Is this during the time? Like, is the phone in his pocket right now filled with texts from underage fans? <laughs> We're just getting started. We're just getting started. Tomorrow. Anyway, guess what today is? It's tomorrow. Uh, where is he coming from? Epstein Island? It's a PDF, not a doc. He blocked me. Let me take a screenshot and post. He is so fucking full of cope. He's getting... <laughs> I've never seen a man tweet through it quite as hard. He's doing... He's doing... SpongeBob meme voice? Okay. All right. Anyway, he's live right now. I'm not joking at about the two and a half hour mark, whatever that would be. I do not remember. I, I just, as soon as I turn this on, because he's literally live right now, he was bitching about, like, someone was like, wow, really fell off, dude. And uh, his viewers are at, like, 71K or whatever. But, like, uh, he was so salty to the chatter. Anyway, so I scrub for a little bit. This is, like, the beginning of his stream. We don't have to keep the chat on here. This is the beginning of his stream right now. And he sort of does his stupid fucking intro, and he did a wordle, and he almost lost. Um, and now we're then literally he he hasn't said anything this whole time. He's been on screen for twenty minutes or something. Like he, he hasn't been able to say anything. So here's his chat. He's responding to his chat. A lot of there's lots of haters in his chat. It's not just people supporting him. He's getting a lot of hate in the chat. Let's hear it. Yeah, just keep ignoring the issue and putting up this act. God. I'm so concerned and worried about everyone else's problems except mine because I'm dealing with a deeper depression and I like to project. <laughs> yeah, okay, buddy. Uh, doing okay? Doing all right? Is <laughs> he he is he is so he's seething mad. This is incredible amounts of cope and cringe. It is it's a sight to behold. Uh, there's so much more. Uh, clips are going around Twitter. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna scrub through this thing. Oh, champs, 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 champs. We a lot of people donating. I I do appreciate. We it. We can speed I it up a little bit. It. You know, 
coping through it. Are you nervous to be back? Ooh. After what's transpired over the last couple months, am I excited to be back to this type of world? <laughs> God. What type of world? One where if you're outed as a freak, people are like, well, that guy's a freak. You tried to you tried to hook up with a kid, man. Man. You try to hook up to it with a kid. By the way, you remember his big apology thing that we covered on here? He made that big apology thread or whatever. He deleted that. He has since he has since gotten rid this this thing right here. This right here. He has deleted this this tweet. I'd like to make a quick statement. Where their Twitch whisper message with an were their Twitch messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. Like. <laughs> He's deleted this shit. That entire statement. Ugh. So glad you're back. Hey, I appreciate it, Sa Shane. It's good to be back to a certain degree. Shane. Right, we got to figure out this monetization thing. So it's September 25th is is basically when we can reapply for partnership on YouTube. Uh -huh. You know, <clears throat> people ask, do I? Now that you're not getting monetized, you're not going to be streaming ever again, or you're on YouTube, are you? I I'm. There's an opportunity to reapply. Right. September 25th is the date. Mm -hmm. So in the meantime. We'll we'll do what we need to do. Uh, I enjoy my time here on YouTube. You know, we've built a nice, strong community for years. This is where we started. S 16 years ago? 2008, I think? A nice, strong you know? community. Dude. And some of you, uh, he is groomed. Uh, that's very... <laughs> so, a nice, strong community champs. And some of his champs, his big, strong champions clubs... Members, uh, you know, he might text you. You never know, huh? Wink. I like my time here. And I like the community. It's We've got the best, realist gaming community. Right? Uh-huh. The Champions Club. Is he wearing a wedding ring still? We've, we've built it on this platform. And By the way? This is... Yeah, he is. <laughs> His wife has put up with a lot of scandal, man. He, he had a whole breakdown on stream after he had an affair. And she caught it. And if there's an opportunity to reapply for partnership, and there's a date that's been presented to us, then I'm going to take it. In the meantime, like we always done, we've always stayed in our lane. We'll stay in our lane and continue to just put on a show. You know? For almost four years, uh -huh. champs, the public demanded to hear from the doc regarding the Twitch suspension. I guess since you all missed the point with my personal statement, maybe oh. it's time to tell my side of the story. Oh, good. Great. Yeah. Let me slow it down just a little bit. Not a ton. Still gonna go a little fast. Not champs. Yeah, actually. No. You see, there was a lawsuit pending, and as part of that arbitration, all parties were not allowed to speak publicly about the case. <laughs> uh, the lawsuit? What was the lawsuit for? I respected those rules. Uh huh. My lawsuit against Twitch was eventually resolved, as you all know. Oh, it was a. Oh, you sued Twitch because they were like, we're not gonna let it, someone who's texting minors. And using our whisper function at TwitchCon, so using using your power and authority in that space to manipulate and literally groom a member of the community that Twitch like looked out for them. You tried to sue them for that for nice, but even then, as part of the settlement, all parties were still prohibited from speaking publicly about the case or the settlement. Yeah. Because you didn't want anyone to let it out. That's what the whole suit was about. So that you could shut them up. But they didn't. However, if one side violated that confidentiality, uh -huh. then the other side could respond. Okay. And again, champs, again, I respected all the confidential obligations. <laughs> of... The confidential obligations that you wanted to be put in place so no one would find out that you're texting minors. You know? Of course you would. Mm -mm. But apparently Twitch's own disgruntled employees didn't feel the need to abide by those same obligations. Cody Connors, ex-Twitch employee, wasn't even involved. Leaks Twitch's reported reason. Uh-huh. Years later. Yeah. Cody, why why you why do this? Be why do d uh, <laughs> because you got banned off the platform for texting a minor, man. NDAs can be used to cover up crimes, dude. Right? Like literally, you tried. You're mad that Twitch caught you. That's all this is. 
What was the point? To out you. This was settled professionally. Uh huh. And you, knowing how black and white the internet is, you decided, you fucking rat, to leak the reported reason Twitch banned me uh -huh. in 2020. Yeah. Well, I mean, for what? Cody? Why? Because he leaked it because he didn't agree with you being able to be out here still interacting with that group of people, your fans, and still being possibly able to text them at events and groom them and get them over to your fucking hotel room and shit and to prey on like kids, man. That's why. Obviously. Like, huh? Did you not know the repercussions from spewing lies about the two time? Did you not know the repercussions of accusing me, Cody Connors? You see, you don't know shit. And it was obvious from your tweet. You didn't have any firsthand knowledge of my dispute with Twitch. You said that I got banned from Twitch because I was sexting a minor through whispers messages. <laughs> Do you even know what the legal definition of sexting is? <laughs> Do you even know what the legal definition of sexting is? Look, I looked it up before I started to groom the child. And I am definitely within my legal bounds because I skirted on technicality around certain discussions happening. <laughs> you were trying to meet up with this kid. I do. And yeah, I used Twitch's whispers, but trust me, I wasn't sexting anyone. Uh-huh. You also said the word minor, Cody. Uh-huh. I even made sure that word was emphasized in my statement, okay. edited, etc., yep. just to make sure these so-called journalists would pick up on it. <laughs> and boy, oh boy, did they ever, champs. When you and all these so-called journalists, Cody, fired off your tweets, did any of you consider that the Twitch user may have been over the legal age of consent at the time of the messages? Over the legal age of consent? Hmm. The legal age of consent. Wh where? <laughs> you didn't. Neither did any of these journalists. 17 or whatever? That's... Huh? The big... The... <laughs> The big reveal in this in this rant is that, like, oh, well, it's legal in fucking, I don't know. Where was it? California or something? <laughs> well, 17 is legal here. Uh, so anyway, socially speaking, yeah, that's disgusting. Like, they were 17. You're still a freak. Herschel? Herschel. His name's Guy. And neither did Twitch at the time of the ban. Uh-huh. You also tried to tell the world that I was trying to meet up with this user at TwitchCon, but you're wrong. Uh -huh. Let's set the record straight. I was trying to groom this child in a different location geographically. All right, let's hear it. I never intended to meet this user ever. We never made plans to meet at TwitchCon or anywhere else. And in fact, we n never met in person ever. Your bullshit accusations gave false courage to other former Twitch employees to make shit up as well. I suspect all of you sort of planned and coordinated this attack. Planned and coordinated? Everyone's out to get me. These big time publications, these, these journalists, uh -huh. these various outlets yep. are sort of just gossip, gossip channels now, don't you think, champs? Gossip channels, true. A lot of gossip happening. So he's going to go full like fucking Russell Brand right into the right wing conspiracy bullshit, right? Oh, the media is corrupt. Everyone's out to get me. It's all fucking, it's all a thing. You're not as important as you think, sir. You're in the internet's latest content creator out as a piece of shit. You can go join Illuminati and Onision. <laughs> Onision. They act like and, 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 and Onision would be very happy he was mentioned in coverage of Dr. Disrespect today. Uh, do you see all the people after this happened who went like the left when someone is one day before the age of 18 and they just kind of told on themselves that they just wait until someone is 18 but fantasize nonetheless? It was weird. So they grew up like that, though. Like the Olsen twins and shit were, you know, oh, they're, they're kids. They're going to be 18 soon. Like they still think that that's like, like the pedophiles that we grew up with in pop culture are fine still. And like, <laughs> nope. 
Uh, you can't be that way anymore, man. I mean, he's still going to have a career to some extent. Like, it's still going to happen. But, like, he's going to get further and further ostracized as time goes on. And then he'll find his pocket in a right wing space because that's the only people that are willing to, like, be around him because they are also like that. Like, they're just gossip channels now without any real journalism and real research happening. They report on all this based on leaks from two former Twitch employees, one of whom was supposedly on the trust and safety team. Mm hmm. If these anonymous sources worked on the trust and safety team at the time of my Twitch suspension in 2020, uh -huh. then you would hope they would tell the truth. But apparently that's just too much to ask. <laughs> that's just too much to ask. He sounds like uh, Gollum when you take the ring from him. Or I guess Bilbo when you take the ring from him. He's like, no, that's mine. I was just trying to groom children. What is so wrong with that? And it's like, doctor, disrespecting the age of consent, sir. You cannot, you cannot groom children. He's like, but I was just trying to. I didn't accomplish the goal. Like, uh, well, yeah, they stopped you. But I didn't get away with it. Yeah, I know. That's the point. Yeah, they stopped you. So no crime was committed. Like, I don't know how you're bragging that they stopped, they cock-blocked you. <laughs> I didn't commit a crime because I was cock-blocked by Twitch. Cool, man. If these former trust and safety team members, and by the way, I know exactly who they are. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, cool. Actually had first-hand knowledge, then what they conveniently left out is, one, mm -hmm. Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, internally admitted that the whisper messages were not sexting. Okay. And two, Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, internally acknowledged that the whispers did not constitute child sexual abuse material CSAM. <laughs> at least, uh, at least we didn't cross that threshold. So again, the allegations were not that you accomplished the goal, but just that you were setting it up that you were setting it up. It is wild. I'll say it again. Uh -huh. Neither I nor the Twitch user exchanged any sexual graphic messages or images. Is he reading this? Cody Connors and these other anonymous sources are trying to paint a picture that I was exchanging sexually explicit messages and photos with this Twitch user. That never happened. I even used the word inappropriate purposely. And look at how it was defined by everyone, champs. Huh? Including these defaming articles. I'm sorry, but mutual bantering with inappropriate jokes taken out of context should have never led to me getting banned from Twitch in the first place. Inappropriate jokes. Wowzers. So, you're texting kids, man. Like, what do you... Huh? You're texting kids and making funny sex jokes with them? And you think that's still fine? You're like, it was innocent sex jokes. We're going to meet up at TwitchCon. <laughs> Come on. How? Doesn't he have kids? How would you feel about a 40-year-old man texting that kind of shit to your children, man? Like, for real. You'd be like, oh, okay, that's just innocent jokes, Jerry. Yeah, go ahead and talk about my kid's sex life. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I'm sure it'd be all fucking funny. I'm sure you'd be just... Just so excited. I mean, how would each of you Go. look if all of your private DMs, your text messages, your chats were looked at, dissected, and taken out of context by someone who's deliberately trying to find something inappropriate in those words? Yeah, I think you'd find that I'm dope. I'm dope as fuck, like, at all times. Why the fuck is this wholly unserious 40-year-old man still fucking cosplaying while trying to deny these sicko allegations? There is a layer of, what if I showed this to my mom? You know what I mean? What the fuck would she even say? She'd be like, why is this man wearing a fucking fake mullet? He looks like a freak. Fuck bicycles! I genuinely can't think of the next, the last minor I've spoken to. <laughs> What's the last time you, like a kid at the store who's like, hi, or whatever. No, I know! Some of the kids kicked a soccer ball over my fence. I had a very neighbor moment. Some of the kids kicked a soccer ball over my fence, and I gave it to them, and I didn't even try to text those kids once after. Dang, it was that easy, Dr. Disrespect. <laughs>
<laughs> you know, you would think at this point he would drop the costume and act for a response video to things of his nature, but no. Nope. He didn't even take the fucking costume off, which is part of the reason, though, because he wanted to wear the shades and hide behind the thing and not really associate his real face with the allegations. I mean, that's really what's going on. It's He's just hiding behind the facade. Everything's normal. And this is not a situation where a victim publicly accuses someone of wrongdoing. That never happened here. We're talking about allegations that Twitch made against me as a half-baked reason for justifying their actions of suspending and shutting down my channel. Allegations that Twitch made without even a legal analysis of whether the whisper messages were legal. Were legal? Okay, so anyway, they don't it's not about a legal technicality. It's about whether or not they allow the behavior on their platform, man. And you obviously violated that. <laughs> yeah. You see, I engage with my community. Yeah. Just screaming. I engage with other streamers. Uh-huh. Engaged. And through Twitch whispers, I communicate with Twitch users. Conversations that consisted of a variety of playing games and gaming politics, content creation, random stuff. This was the extent of my whispers with this Twitch user. Uh-huh. On June 21st... You, talk, you Twitch whisper users? I gotta be honest. My only whispers are... Sometimes people reach out and they're like, uh, Hey, Jay, blah, blah, and I never read them. So, sorry if that's you. I don't read my Twitch whispers. And uh, then I have purchased pizza for people in chat. And they have sent me information so I can send them pizza. These are my Twitch whispers. <laughs> Why would you use... I mean, not only why would you be texting a minor, why would you why would you be texting a minor with Twitch whispers? What is that about? First, 2020, my ex Twitch partner manager learns that I exchanged whispers with a Twitch user. <laughs> and I say ex partner manager because for years, uh huh, this guy didn't do anything for me, my community, or my channel. For uh -huh. years. I'm talking no front page love. You're talking about the face the platform right uh-huh literally the face of the platform we heart and i know champions club remembers this we got we got z zero front page love on the website why you're mad you're we were on the front page of twitch why are we talking about this you're you're the allegations are that you are texting minors and shit, and they are obviously true, and you've admitted as much in this and in your deleted post, and now you're just mad at, like, your former business arrangement with Twitch, and you're just being petty? Uh, he was never on my channel. He didn't follow me on Twitter. He, he wouldn't even inform us about Twitch rival tournaments. We're talking about the two-time Twitch rival tournament. Oh, I'm sorry. I, God, I, would you, would you want to play in it? <laughs> We got zero support from this guy. Cool? Well, it looks like his intuition was correct. That's a good Twitch partner manager, I guess. And it was just so obvious that he carried a grudge against the two-time. He carried a grudge against the two-time. This is cringe as fuck. This should be your last fucking upload. I know it won't be, but it should be. This is so embarrassing. How could... <laughs> How can you be like this? His kids are going to grow up and be like, oh my God, I'm so fucking embarrassed. So after we signed with Twitch in 2019, mm -hmm. we asked for a new partner manager. And just a few months later, that ex Twitch partner manager is directly involved with getting me banned. <laughs> Coincidence? Yes. Or probably not. I mean, he obviously knew information about you. It's not like coincidence, it's just like evidence, you know? The Twitch user tells the ex-Twitch partner manager that they do not want to report anything to Twitch. I'll repeat that sentence one more time, just in case anybody missed that one. The person I groomed doesn't want to report on the crime? Wow. That must mean, that must mean you're innocent, man. <laughs> Shit. This fan that I'm exploiting is still my fan that I'm exploiting? That's crazy. That's what the that's the whole point, man. Like a kid isn't able to like cover for themselves, so we have to protect them against predatory people because yeah, this is what happens. The Twitch user tells this ex Twitch partner manager that they do not want to report anything to Twitch. But this ex Twitch partner manager encourages the user and even directs them to file a report directly with Twitch even though the user told them clearly that we never physically met anywhere and that no photographs were exchanged. 
On June 20... 20- no photographs were exchanged? Is that... Is, that's not my bar. I don't think that's their bar either. 4th, 2020, Twitch's special operations team receives and reviews the user's report. They find no issues and determine that it did not warrant any further escalation to Twitch's law enforcement response team. Right. He keeps he keeps hiding behind the well it wasn't technically illegal. And it's like, well, that's not my bar. Why does he why does he need it to be illegal for him to be canceled? I mean, because it's him, of course. So it's like, wow, I didn't do anything wrong. That would have been the end. <laughs> that should have been the end. <laughs> It's creepy, man. But that partner manager. Yeah. Go. Oh boy, oh boy, did he had it out. He had he had it out for the two time. He finds out that no further action will be taken, so what does he do? He personally well, escalates the report. Illegal. Creepy is illegal right now. It should be. Uh it's wild a habitual cheater calls himself the two time. <laughs> but you still gotta pay the price. He does. To a friend on the Twitch's LER team. The LER team, remember, that's the <clears throat> Twitch's law enforcement response team. Cool. He escalates the report to a friend on Twitch's LER team. Yeah, so it shouldn't matter whether it's illegal or not. I agree, G Host. You're right. There's I there's no reason to think that the legal bounds are what we need to worry about here. Like, I'm glad that you didn't commit a full ass crime. Just like we're in the process of, of eventually doing one. What? So a day later, on June 25th, the LER analyst pulls the entirety of the whisper messages and begins <clears throat> discussing them with his director of the LER team. Uh-huh. Mind you, this director is on vacation at that time and does not have access to their computer or work files. L- let me just remind you, I went through a multi-year, multi-mil- a, a big-time arbitration. Okay. And, uh, you know, you discover a lot of stuff. Mind you, this director is on vacation at that time. Uh huh. The LER analyst cherry picks and sends a few targeted excerpts out of context from the whisper messages to this director. Out of context. Do you care to share these whisper messages with us? <laughs> have those been leaked, by the way? I know, I'm pretty sure we saw like excerpts, but have we seen all of them? Now, if you do this, you can make anyone's messages look inappropriate, even when they so. aren't. Um. Within less than one hour, this LER analyst and his director have made the decision to suspend me from Twitch. Twitch submits a report to NCMEC. You guys all read those little articles, huh? The no. NCMEC. Twitch submits that report. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Guess what? As far as I know, and over four years have passed, they didn't do anything with the report. As far as I know, they didn't escalate Twitch's report to law enforcement. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So he's like giggling that he got away with it. The intent of the law is more important than the technicality. That is why we have people who interpret the law and change to how to apply if it's needed. Yeah, of course. This, <laughs> this is just I'm, I got away on technicality. Mind you, the same people that made this decision admit internally that the messages did not constitute sexting. The same people that made this decision at Twitch admit internally that the messages did not warrant any child sexual abuse material charge. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitted they did not perform any legal analysis of whether the messages exchanged were illegal in any way. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitting that they never investigated the age of consent in the jurisdiction where the user's messages were sent and received. The age of consent in the jurisdiction where the minor was? Buddy, that is... Why would you... I don't know how he did it. Maybe it's because he's the two-time. But he managed to reach out of his own coffin and not and hammer some nails in. <laughs> Maybe there's like a hole in the side. And you do, 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 do. I don't know. I mean, this is this is wild stuff. You're burying yourself for free. No one has put it like that's a terrible thing. I mean, every time you open your mouth, I sound more and more. I feel more and more convicted that you should be. <laughs> Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me without ever 
interviewing me, the Ever. user, or any other third party, including the partner manager. It's fucking unbelievable! <laughs> Have you seen a meltdown like this shit in years? <laughs> this is... This is... Maybe the rawest form of cope we will see in some time on the internet. <laughs> He's losing his fucking mind. Yeah. Bang your head into the desk. <laughs> you knew the rules, man. You knew the fucking rules. When bad people get uh, their comeuppance, it feels good, man. This is going to be a long process, too. This probably won't be the last time he has some kind of cope fest. Ma manly. Is this how men act? Keep. Are you going to keep reading? I'm not going to get into every detail regarding my legal case. Thank you. <clears throat> He realized that most people know how contracts work, yes. Twitch would not terminate it if they thought they didn't have the means to justify it. They don't risk lawsuits for nothing. He has no case. Right. But these former Twitch employees that claim to have first-hand knowledge, uh -huh. they just don't have a clue. They didn't report any facts. The judge in the case determined that the whispers were not illegal. <laughs> not illegal. That's good. Slow, but this applies again. Because he's screaming. He's sad. So then why did Twitch use these messages against me? Go. Because creepy isn't illegal. Uh, look on the bright side. At least you get to go down a chute and not climb the ladder. Ooh. Just fall on down. I. Why did Twi Twitch treat the doc so differently from their other streamers? I mean. What? Outside of the obvious. <laughs> uh, texting minors? That's the obvious to me. Yeah, what? You're treated differently because you you act differently in a bad way. <laughs> I mean, just take a look at me. Yeah, hey, take a look at you. Unfiltered. The I'm, realest motherfucker in this industry. The realest motherfucker in this industry? And every day you put on a fucking costume and LARP as the two-time? The realest? Did you... What? How can you... <laughs> how, how can you say that? Isn't this you? Wait. Damn. Uh, you, <laughs> I thought I was going to go to the boat, the fucking Epstein Island boat race. How can you say you're the realist? I don't get it. Go. If you're the realist guy on here, it wouldn't be Dr. Disrespect. It'd be Guy Beam Stream. And you would just be on here like, hey, bud. Hey, guys, I'm on here streaming. You're a character. The guy behind the character. You're literally hiding behind the character right now. Nothing will make this funnier to me than the fact that a dude named Dr. Disrespect is outraged that he wasn't respected. <laughs> Didn't he get caught in a bathroom with a camera a few years ago? Yeah, he also did that. Live at TwitchCon. The Beam Stream. There you go. Six foot eight. Oh my God. Gorgeous. Athletic. Successful. College degree. College athlete. Bourbon business. Gaming studio. Beautiful family. And Beautiful family. That I constantly try to uh disrespect as the doctor of disrespecting uh <laughs> i've been caught multiple times uh <laughs> by my wife i've had to cry on stream multiple times i got a beautiful family they're beautiful guys and gals they're beautiful two time yeah 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 yeah. and trust me we've worked hard for over a decade to improve as a person a husband and we, father we we have tried real hard to be a better person. We, yeah, you'd have to be. You can't, you can't go anywhere but up. And to get where we're at today, I mean, I'm in such a good place today. And all these people, they all act like they're just so perfect. So perfect. Man, you're having a fucking full-on breakdown. His ego literally cannot sustain this. The people are clowning on him constantly. I'm not perfect. Took him a lot to, that really hurt him to say. I don't claim to be perfect. Uh-huh. Yeah, sometimes I do. But I also didn't do all the shit Go. that they're saying I did. I didn't do the shit they're saying I did. Don't forget that he's a chaser. Oh, cool. But then that doesn't make a story, right? They wanted media attention. The media wants controversy. And by sensationalizing all this with big and accurate headlines like sexting and sexually explicit, you all got what you wanted. Uh-huh. At the expense of the two-time. 
the expense of the two time. Well, man, you were you were texting kids. What the fuck? The reality is they wanted to cut down the dock. No. Plain and simple. Yeah. Anyway, so they didn't want to. They did once they found out who he was. You know? The dock. He literally is so trapped in this persona that he can't fucking just say I. He has to, like, third person it. So he can't even own it. Take a look at some of these horrendous acts of Twitch streamers that were never banned. I've got some examples right here. Here's other people who weren't banned. I mean, I'm fine if we ex ex increase our bannings if you're upset at people. Example number one. Is it Hassan or something? A streamer that frequently used the N-word while publicly streaming, which constitutes a violation of Twitch's policies if accompanied by hateful intent. Okay. Twitch scheduled a meeting with the streamer to ascertain his intent to determine whether his contact was a violation of Twitch's policies, ultimately determining it was not a breach of Twitch's policies. Why wasn't I called into a, into a meeting? Why wasn't my intent taken into consideration, champs? Huh? Hmm. Example number two. Streamer was reported for discussing doing things with deceased animals and discussing pedophilia all while live streaming. Never suspended, but instead given a multi-million dollar contract. Example number three. Who? Streamer was reported for a sexually explicit stream involving children and telling children to send Snapchats of them playing with themselves. Never suspended, but instead, hmm, given a multi-million dollar contract. Okay, we can ban all of them too, man. I'm fine with that. Why do you... What? Name the names, yeah. It's just streamer? Sounds like you just make it up now. So name them. It's so obvious that certain Twitch executives, employees involved had personal biases against the doc. This is just whataboutism and uh, you're whack. And a pedo. And used all of this as an opportunity to... Doctor, go. this isn't an oopsie doopsie. This isn't you. I'm sorry, an ephibophilia. My bad. Uh, is that how you say it? Uh, this isn't getting canceled. You did a crime. You don't get to go to the funny farm. You go to jail. Well, I don't think... He, he's not technically going to... It's not crime. He was stopped before he did the crime, okay? Terminate my contract. Go back and look at the timing of all this, too. Mm -hmm. huh. The timing? The doc's termination lines up with two preferable, profitable, and expensive streamers leaving Mixer. Stroud? Is that what his name is? And uh, who would be the other one? As soon as Twitch knew that Mixer had failed, and go look at the timing, these other expensive streamers needed a new streaming platform. Do you not think they would want everybody on the roster? Shroud. So Twitch rushed through its decision to terminate the two time. Is Ninja on Twitch? I thought he was on YouTube Gaming. I don't know. They would probably just want everybody, by the way. Just for the record. I don't think they needed to save money on you. They could have just made money on you. You see, I shouldn't even be banned from Twitch. Uh huh. It has affected us on so many levels. Back in 2020, mm -hmm. and now in 2024. Damn, election cycle, Dr. Disrespect problems. It's pretty sad, man. It's all about him. So when is he going to be on the uh, right ring griff talking about like fake allegations and all that shit? Being like, well, you can't trust him. He's going to go on the fucking whatever podcast. And Cody Connors, <clears throat> I just have to say it again. Why would you do this? To let people know, bro. Like I said, this was handled professionally years ago. No fucking wrongdoing. But because of you, Cody... We just lost... Ah, fuck, man. We just lost what? Unfortunately, we have to lay off people from Midnight Society. You can't take a pay cut? That's not Cody's fault. That's your fault, by the way. That's your fault. Because of you, Cody. No, be because of you, man, actually. You're no longer working for them? Oh, yeah, Midnight Society kicked him out. Huh? You're right. The layoff was him. <laughs> I forgot Midnight Society was his gaming thing. I don't, yeah. When we covered it last time, that's what it was. He got kicked out. They, they dropped him. He's, he had to lose people. <clears throat> you know, through all this, we are where we are. Uh-huh. And like a fucking man, I'll accept it. 
like a man. But I don't accept to sitting quietly by and let these idiots attack me with false accusations. No. Okay. For all these doc haters out there, too. Oh, man. The doc haters. So they hate you because of your conduct. You know? Like the things that you've done. Go. That's the thing they don't like. It's pretty easy. It's pretty easy to not like people that are texting minors. Thank you for the Darvo etymology link. Uh, deny attack, reverse victim, and offender. Well, Darvo. The ones that project and project and project and project and worry about everyone else's problems. Right? That's not what projection is. Criticizing you is not always projection. That's projection. <laughs> I, I can't understand that mindset. Oh. I don't give, I could care less. We've always stayed in our lane. What lane are you talking about? You were texting minors in your lane. But somehow, some way, these people, they just get in our lane. For all you doc haters, I'm sure you'll dissect, dissect all of this and still find a way to publicly criticize me. Do what you need to do. Uh-huh. I'll say this. This isn't for you. Oh, okay. This was for my team today, my community, my friends, la familia that have supported me. And I'm not denying the exchange of whispers, champs. I'm not denying that to, to all of you out there. It looks bad. I have no way of knowing if the Twitch user thought our exchange of whisper, whispers was inappropriate. If it was, I apologize. All I, all I know is that I never did what Twitch, Cody Connors, or the public is claiming that I did. <laughs> uh-huh. That you think a minor could be a victim of your inappropriate, like, messages... And that you floated a possible apology out for it is, like, crazy. You keep acknowledging that you did a bad thing without acknowledging it. You know what I mean? Like, you're not owning it. That's it. I'm not saying anything more about any of this. Right? Uh -huh. Unless I need to, because trust me, I unless, have more. I haven't disclosed. Unless I need to. Go. <laughs> so he will. You don't give a shit about your team, Doc. If you gave a shit about your team, you wouldn't have texted kids. He certainly wasn't considering his team when he was doing that at all. But it's not really... <laughs> it's, about the, it's about him and the, that kid, man. I just want to get back to what we do best. No shit. Why wouldn't you want to get away from this? Like, obviously. Put on a show and climb our way to the tippity top of the mountain, man. In our own lane. <laughs> Is he going to cry? I hope so. That's it. I want to see a tear come out from underneath the shades. That's it? It's the whole thing? Cool. Wasn't good enough. That was bad. <laughs> he starts playing fucking music. All right, everybody. Let's play some video games. Right, kids? <laughs> cool, man. All right. <laughs> That's... So that's Dr. Disrespect's big fucking message to everybody who thinks he sucks. Uh, throughout this uh, stream, when I turned it on, he was already coping, and it was like an hour after whatever this is that I stopped. You can see the, the timestamp on here. I think he's still alive. Yeah. Uh, so this is like three hours ago uh, in real time. Right now, he's still playing games. But in between games, he talks to chat and stuff, like, and he does the talking head stuff. Uh, he was fucking big whining at chat. He was like, mm. <laughs> st 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 think of yourself. Stop, stop trying to talk shit to me about what's going on here. <laughs> he moves scenes and then comes back and has to talk more. If you associate with Dr. Disrespect in the future, uh, I mean, it's just going to be, it's just going to be like a death knell for your own fucking career, right? It just yikes is all I got. Man, what was his friend that was his streamer friend that was uh, defending him back in the day? I forget his name now. <laughs> I'm sure other people know his name. Um, Nick Merckx, that's what his name was. Uh, is he is he going to hang out with Doc again or is now is he distancing himself from Dr. Disrespect? Has he stayed? Has he stayed far away from that from now? Nick Merckx. Yeah, he's a huge piece of shit. He's absolutely dog shit. I guess we'll see. Uh, we'll see what Doctor Disrespect has to say in the future. But I mean, <laughs> he's cooked.